Hello everyone, this is Charlotte. Welcome back to my home. Welcome to part two of our little folio that we did yesterday. So all I did was um, ink the inside. Everything else we had done together. And I did work on that other one. I'll show you at the end of this what I did. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch. There's six uh, pages here. I am going to stitch this into here. So I just added three holes with the awl and I did the same thing with my pages here in the center. And so I'm gonna take my needle and thread. And for those that of, you, of you that are wondering, I am using Book Binding Thread by Vintage Paper Company. It's medium weight. It is a flax linen and I got it off of Amazon. So we're gonna come in the center of here, our pages, and we're gonna come in the center of our folio, and we're gonna do a pamphlet stitch, a three hole pamphlet stitch. Then we are going to come up the top and in through the top, holding our thread to make sure we don't lose it. And then I like to come out the center, back out the center. I know some people will go out the very bottom. I like to come back out the center, making sure that you don't split your thread. Just like that. And then I like to go in the bottom. Super, super easy, super fast. I don't even think this is taking us 60 seconds. Just like that, then we're gonna come up here, we're gonna lose our needle, and we are going to knot this off, and knot it off again. We are going to tie a bow because I am not attaching anything to this. We could if we wanted to attach something, but um, I'm concerned about our spines and our thickness, so I am not attaching anything. So let's make sure, I don't want this hanging down. Let's make sure we fit. Oh, it is so cute. So cute, so cute. So this folds over. Here is your flap, and we are a little we do fit, you can see that, but we are, for whatever reason, off just a tad, and I don't know why. But it isn't. it doesn't matter. This one that I'm gonna show you, we're not off at all. So somewhere on here, I don't know what I did, but it doesn't matter. You can kind of see from the back, but um, yeah, it's a teachable moment for real. If I pull that in, yeah, I don't know. I uh, scored everything the same, but you know, nothing, nothing has to be perfect. It doesn't matter to me. And I'm thinking I want a pocket here. Now I don't have a pocket on the flap of the original. You can see that, but I do have a pocket on the fold out. So as I'm looking at this, I don't really care a lot for this right here. So I'm thinking, do you see how that just fits? It's perfect. So my mess up is in here. But anyway, all right, let's put a pocket there just because, just because, just because, yeah, I feel like I want to do that. This is cool. This would make a cute pocket. Hmm. I think so. Do you all save these when you get them in the mail? They're great for making tags. Um. No, I don't want that. Ooh, I might. Nope, I can't do that. I can't do that. Boy, look at all this I can't do's. Let's find something I can do. Do I like that? Let's see, do I like that? I think I like this. We're gonna use that. 
I, you know, I can't, I don't know why. I just prefer that. And we are not using, um, maybe we should. I used ground espresso on that. I think I better pull out the, let's pull out the vintage photo. Or we're not going to be the same, are we? So I think if we cut this about right there, is that right? Yep, we're going to give it a notch because that's what we do to let you know. Yep, it's a pocket. How's everybody? Doing really well, I hope. I have got to get to work on our giveaway. I am, guys, you know... I know a lot of you are so busy as well. It's not just me. Um, but I just feel this year like I can't catch up. I don't like that feeling at all. But it is um, how I feel. Like I am not catching up. Almost feels like no matter what I do, I am just always behind. And I, I, I'm not a fan of that feeling. Like, I have this. I wonder. This is really cool. Hmm. I kind of like that, but I, I am thinking. I picked these up, and I just found them. Okay, they're gauge dials, and I was thinking, wouldn't a gauge dial be cool on here? You know what? Now that we're talking about it, let's look and see. You know, this is what happens when you clean. You find stuff. You find some cool stuff. So, just looking at the colors. Let's see, maybe black. No, oh, these are the neatest things. But is there a color that's cool looking? That's kind of, I think I want a little bit more. Oh, I like that though. Oh, I like that. It's a shame there's not, oh, here's, I was gonna say, it's a shame there's not one with some red. I like that. All right, we're going to have to think about this. We want to put this on there because I really like that. Wonder. Let's see. Anything. Ooh, here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that one. Okay. Let's get this out of here. And let's work on some tags. Gauge, gauge dials. I don't, I can't even tell you why I bought gauge dials. But guess what? I didn't buy just one. Look, I bought two. I don't know why. Who, you know, who knows? Who the heck knows what I was thinking? I know I'll use them. I just don't know why I bought them. Must have had some kind of reason. All right. So, let's, where do we want to begin? Well, we've got a lot of tags to make, guys. We've got two, four, six, seven, and eight. Eight tags to make. So, I suggest we get busy. All right, then. I have... I love to do this. I love to pull out this type of thing. This is a really, really good time to use cards like this and scraps that you have like this. This is a really nice weight cardstock. It makes great tags. But these, because we tend to have so many, um, these are a really, really great thing to use for stuff like this. 
Let's see if this will fit. And it does. And we didn't hinge this. Remember yesterday we were talking about hinges. We didn't hinge this. This is the perfect card, I think, for in here. Um, there aren't really any florals here, so I think we are going to find... I think what we're going to do is use this one right here because I think that's going to look great together. Why not? Why, why not? So what we're going to do... Boy, I kind of like the look of that. Hmm, we'll start down here then. Yep, we'll start down here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I don't need this, don't want this. So we're going to do what you would do, which is to slather this in glue. Yep. Glue this off. Yep, yep. And put her on here and cut her out and call it a tag. We will be putting, well, I will. I don't think we'll get to it today. I will be putting trims on all these tags. And, of course, you did an awful job of that, Charlotte. And it's probably too late to move it. Look at that. I can't even do that right. Some days, things just kind of go awry. Beautiful day here. Yeah, the sun is shining, the sky is blue. I've been to the post office. I've had packages to pack up, glue dangles, little journals. So thank you, thank you, if you are watching. Thank you, thank you for your support. Everything is in the mail. Okay, so there is a tag that's going to look really great in there, but it's not done. We need something, something, and I'm wondering, should we keep with our, hmm, you know what I should have pulled out were, and if I knew exactly where they were, I would get them, the film strips, because that would be neat, but we could do that, and... Let's see, let's get this ephemera drawer out and see what we've got. That's too big. Cutting it down is not going to do any good. That's kind of cool. It would be good to, let's see, do we want a measuring tape? No, but a measuring tape, that's kind of cool. I'm looking for something along the lines of color. Um, bird's nest, no. Feather, no. That might work. Or even the pointer finger may work. All right, so we're not sitting here all day doing this. Rummaging, although rummaging is fun. We don't want to spend the day rummaging. So how about if we did something like that? I like that, but do I like something else better? No, I like that better. But would I like that? No. And don't think so. So I think what we're going to do is this. I think that. Don't want to spend a whole lot of time trying to figure this out. And because these dials are mechanical looking, I think this is perfect. So I've had them sitting up on the dog kennel over that way in a bag that Miss Dana gave me, part of my Christmas birthday gift. And you know, that of December, January. 
And it was just sitting there, sitting there, and you know, I'm, I'm going to do a craft reveal the end of next month, so I'm trying to clean up, organize, so I don't embarrass myself. And of course, what do I come across? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's me, guys. That's really, that's how I roll. Yep, nothing to be proud of real okay so there is that we'll put the mr pointer finger away and i am getting ready for angel dream crafts chem the birthday hop next month june 5th i believe filled with surprises you guys are going to love what i make what i am doing hopefully you will just think it's great now do we want to let's see we we'll put a little glitter here. Nope, we don't. Okay, so like I said, I will come back and put trims. But I think for right now, oh, this was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now we need this little guy. So do we want to use one of these? Don't have to cut it down much. Remember, this has the uh, hinges in it. So we could put this on there. It's going to have to be cut back just a tiny bit. Not a lot, a lot. Just a little bit. Cut it down. And don't assume anything, guys. Always check because I can't tell you how many times I've assumed something's going to work. And then it doesn't. But we do. That is good. So, what are we going to do it out of? Um, let's see. What do we have? I do like this. I do like this, but that is, um, that is not going to work. And I could use that, or I could, this has some pink in it, and I don't, there's no flowers in that at all, so that's not going to be a good thing, and I'm not liking, boy, hot, my choices stink, but I could use this. This is a good weight. This might work, and then I'm going to have to get into some other paper. Let me see, will she work? Because I do like that. Oh, look at that, she does, and I am. I think I am, yep, because I just, I love this film strip. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. Because that film strip is just too cute. I went looking for the, uh, die cut of the film strip and I can't find it I've got to go on scrapbook.com I was on um, Instagram I mean not Instagram I was on um, Amazon and I picked up some dyes I picked up some ephemera some ideology ephemera but and I was I was uh, I could not find the film strip so I think scrapbook.com is going to have that. And hopefully I did not mess this up. For length, I think we're going to be okay. So, we have so many new subscribers. I want to say thank you. Thank you for finding me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. That is how we get to know you, and I really, really appreciate that. Um, the names that are going to go in Friday's box for index cards is almost overwhelming. So if you are new and you are watching, you need to come in every week because your name will not come out of that box until I mean you you your name at some point will come out of that box because I don't start over 
with everyone's name until everyone has received a uh, giveaway. So you need to be um, watching every week. And I, um, for those of you that don't have time to watch, just catch the end of the video because that's where I always um, call the names is at the very end of the video. And if I call your name and you don't respond with your address, then I, I uh, toss your name usually because I pull once and then I go on to somebody else. Your name, if you continue to comment, will be in the box um, the next time around because as soon as I get through everyone's name in the box, we start all over with all the names. That's the only way I can find that I think it's fair. Fair for everyone. And that, you know, I really, really want everyone to be able to win. That's the goal. Oh, there goes my light. Yep, I hit it. I hit it, as a matter of fact. Maybe that's a good lighting right there. I am going to... Yep, this was kind of behind. And I think... I think, I think I am going to, I'm going to use the medium one because I don't want to lose what's going on up here. Other side, not concerned, but don't want to lose that. And then I'm thinking, how about a word? How about a word or a number or something cool like that? I was in my stuff and found this. I think this was from a Timu haul. Um... Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty sure this is from Timu. Uh, it's a missing label. So if you went on Timu for the search, uh, that's the only information I can give you on this. But look at all of this coolness here. So I found this too. So go figure, guys. I know. It's bad. It is. I'm bad. It's bad. It is what it is. This one, I think. Don't you think? Cause it's a lady so I'm thinking this let's use this put it there yeah it needed something doesn't that look good I like it okay so I think this is gonna go right in here like that that looks good but you know what we could put possibly something let's get into our grabby words and see if there's something here it's okay not to be okay Ooh, all right because that's the truth it's okay not to be okay you can't be okay every day you know life will throw stuff at you okay how about right there? Yeah, I think we needed a little something, something. I like that. Okay, then we have this little pocket and I like this typewriter. So, can I make this work? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go for it. Let's see, I could measure but I'm not going to. Let's see, will this work? This we used, yep. See, this is how nice hinges are because you have the, your full access to your pocket. If I had used glue, I would be cutting this down. And I think that looks great, just as it is. But you know what? This, not so much. So that is where this comes in handy. So I think we're gonna booklet this. And you're gonna see what I mean by that in just a second. So we're gonna put glue here. 
We're going to make it a little fold out so you have a little bit more journal space. Can't wait to show you the Stamperia paper one. Oh, I am in love. I've got to go see if I can find that paper pack. Um, I'm sure that what I have is was not the whole pack. Um, maybe it was and I used it a long time ago. I just don't remember. So we don't need what's on the top, but let's see. Let's see if I can get this to work. I'm not so good at tearing. I'm better at cutting. Not bad, Charlotte. Not bad at all. So what we're going to do is even though we have that, it's okay. We're going to fold this. And I'm going to fold it this way so I can see what I'm doing here because I don't have a lot of pocket space. So I don't want to lose it on a fold. And I think... We might go three times because I think we've got the room to do that. So, yeah. So now what we're going to do is tear this off right here, just like that. And I'm going to leave it, the torn edges. See this? I'm going to leave that because I like it. And then I think... We're gonna ink just around here so that it looks like it belongs in this little folio. I need to get on my comments, guys. Bear with me. I have been, my husband is in the mountains raking up pine straw. So um, he usually, when I pack my orders up, he usually would go to the post office for me. And um, all of that now, I'm having to do myself. So, um, I've got a little bit more happening than I typically do. He took Sky, and believe it or not, it was 48 degrees last night, and it's beautiful 70s during the day. So, he's raking up pine straw, and he'll be home any day because we will, um, the fire department goes around and obviously checks all of that because it's a, it's a fire hazard. And so we have to do that twice a year. And he said it last fall, it was so bad. Um, uh, this year, no. So the spring anyway who knows what it will be like in the fall but he's enjoying the weather and then we're going to be going up there quite a bit this summer so we'll see how that works as far as videos go okay so did I get it all there you go look at that isn't that so cute so there is some added space for writing right there and I'm gonna I'm gonna look really quick and see now maybe we won't fit because of the bolt no we do look at that oh, and I was gonna cut this off but I can't worry about it so we still need three long tags I was gonna see give me a second to pull up let me see if I can come up with a photo of my granddaughter in her graduation um, yeah, I don't have it on this phone. Let me check one more place. I'm sorry, guys. I know this is probably rude, and I don't mean to do that. Yep. I, one more check, and we'll see. Nope. Okay. I don't know where they're at, and I'm not going to hold you up, but she just looked beautiful, and I wanted to share that with you. So, okay, we need three long ones, and then we need, you know, this is upside down. We're going to do something with that, but we need one to go in here, and this is where these 
things that come in the mail. These freebies that you get, these advertisements, these are, I used to always throw these out, no more. They make, they, some of them are very, very thick, which are fantastic for, for tags, and some of them are just really, really thin, but you're going to cover them up anyway, so, um, yeah, don't throw them out. Don't, uh, don't throw them out, but use them up. Use them, use them. So we're gonna cut this down until it fits. And this literally is what I do. I just chomp at it until I get it in there and it works. And then we're gonna cut right in front of her pretty little face. And that should fit. Her pretty little face. About right there, I think. So this will make a tag, and we're going to double check, and then we're going to cover her up. Nobody will ever even know she's hiding in there. So make sure she fits. Okay, I am going to cut the end off just a tiny bit more. I am so excited to show you the Stamperia. Yeah, I'm going to cut that off. It was just a little bit snug. And let's see if we can. Can we? Can we? Yes, I wanted to use this, and it goes this way. So we're going to do, it's the same process, glue, stick, and glue, or glue and stick. And then we'll put some type of decoration on here. And I'm going to hop up and see how long this video is. I have an idea for Index Card Friday. I was sitting there thinking, oh my goodness, what if I can't come up with anything? My mojo when it came to that was lacking. And I thought, oh, no, no. So we are at... 32 minutes. We're doing great. Okay, I am going to cut this with the cutter because you can see she can't cut straight. She just can't. I can't cut straight. No matter how hard I try, I cannot cut straight. Can't draw a straight line. Can't glue a straight line. Can't cut straight. It is what it is. I accept it and move on. So what's going to go on the other side? Well, we could. I don't think my little page is there. And they're floral. I don't really want florals in here. So we need something, something. But you can see we're looking pretty doggone good now. So, what do we have? Oh, I've got something here I think is so cool, and I wanted to use it, so I think I will. Look at this. Ooh, I love that. Now, can you write on this? Well, maybe with a felt tip. Maybe you could write on this. I'm not sure. Um, I was given a whole stack of this. This has been flattened out. This is more what it looks like. And I really, really wanted to use this on something. So, you know what, guys? This is it. I am. I'm going to use that. We'll see. I might ruin the tag because I don't know how that's going to glue. I don't know what it's going to look like. So, we're going to find out. Might as well find out together. I have an entire stack of that. Um, my friend gave it to me, and I almost tossed it. I did. I almost tossed it because I just didn't have an idea. I'm glad I didn't toss it because oh, it's just cool. I mean, it could be a page in a journal. Let's see if you can see through it, because that won't be good. And you really can't. And you see, I can't even glue right. There we go. Whoop. But 
we are going to ink it. So we're gonna be good. So let's cut this out. Let's ink it and let's see what we get. But this stuff is pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure, is it glued down? I think so, it's just paper. It doesn't, it kind of has, it feels like it might have a waxy finish to it, but I don't believe it does. And I've got a big stack of it, so yeah, I like that. Yep, yep, I'm glad we did that because I like that a lot. So I think I am going to do this. And I think I am going to round these corners. Not for any particular reason other than just rounding the corners. Then, of course, you know, I got ink. Uh, this is espresso. Yep, you've seen me do that multiple times. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And I think, should we decorate the front of this tag with something? We could leave it, but... Ooh, look at that. <gasps> Glad we did this. Thank you, guys. Glad we used this. Let's go over it just a tiny bit. Almost like it's embossing. And yes, I'm shredding. I meant to change my dauber and I didn't. Oh, that's cool. All right, yep, we do want a little, a little one. Do a little one. Right there like that. And that's pretty cool. Let's do something with this though. I still have my the same case out. What does this say? Is this a sticker? I don't think so. Smith Premier Typewriter. Ooh, perfect. That is perfect. He's upside down. That's going the wrong way. Let's see if there's anything in here we can use. Not so much. You know, sometimes when you have a lot, and there's a lot in here, you just, you can't see it. It's like the forest, the trees. I want that. No. Maybe if I had some, maybe if I had some red. Ooh, okay, let's do that. Okay, let's see what we've got. We're gonna make it work. We are gonna make this work. So we know we want that. I hate to I don't want to lose the number, so we're gonna go there. Okay, we're going to cut this off, and we're going to ink this, we're going to make sure there's no white showing, I could do, ooh, you know what would be cute, A uh, paper doll would be really cute on this. I know I want this, so let's, well, let's see. Let's do it. Let's just do it, and then I can look and see if we have a paper doll that's not leaning or sitting or doing anything but standing. Okay, let's put the, get this down. And I think the call collect is not going to work on this one. 
Sherry told me she's liking paper dolls now. Can you believe it? She's be she's a convert. Her reason for not liking paper dolls is she says they never smile and they always look. You know what? We're going to do it because I like the red. She says they just always look mean and unhappy and sad. And she's right. If you start looking at the paper dolls. But, you know, back during the times when a lot of these pictures were taken, you didn't really smile. Every now and then you can catch a paper doll that has a smile on their face. But it's rare. So let's see if we have a paper doll that might work here. I don't think... I don't think a girl's going to look good because this is pretty masculine looking. So do we have a guy? Just a guy. He's leaning on something, so that's not going to work. We need a guy. We just need a guy. How about him? Oh, he's cute. We could put him on there. Or... We have another guy. Oh, I love that with the dog. He's so cute. Love him. These are all supposed to be minis. I don't know how, how I got the big ones in here. Okay. Well, I am not going to waste your time. So we could do this couple. We could do this little guy. This little guy is really cute. You know what? We're going to do them. Because I don't know. Adults just look like they should be here versus a child. So, try to get rid of a little bit of the white. I always like to turn it over to see if there's a punch out. And then let's, where do we want to put this? I think, yeah. Oh, yeah. With him, just a little bit over on top of that. So, glue. You know what I've got, guys? I've got paper doll chipboard pieces. I need to figure something to do with the chipboard. First, I have to find them. And then I need something to do with the chipboard pieces. Up a little bit. Oh, cute. Okay, you have to admit, that's, that's pretty cute. We're not going to get it done. And I'm not going to do a part three. So I am going to just go ahead and do the other um, tags off camera. But I, almost, I hate to hide this. You know what? You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put a little pocket here because this is upside down. And I'm going to put this here so we can see them because that tag's really pretty. And I'll do a different tag for in there, but I don't want to hide that. So what do I have? Do I have something, something we could quick make a pocket? Surely I've got something, something we can use. I've got this. Well, we're going to have to do hinges for sure. So do I want this? Quickly, quickly, Charlotte, what do you have? What do you have? Come on, girl. Will this work? The film tape. Oh, it's just not quite. I could just, just, if I do it this way. Hmm. Oh my goodness, do you see what happens? Okay, all right. Well, I don't want to waste your time, I think, and I really don't care for this. I don't care for that. So I'm going to have to go on the hunt, but I think I'm going to put this there because it's just too cool looking. And then I will finish this off, and I am going to put this dial. I'm going to put a, uh, a brad in there, and I'm going to put this dial on the front. And even though it's a little bit wonky wonky, it is adorable. Look at that. It is it's just so cute. So this is the make today, but really quickly, I'm going to show you the Stamperia paper because I'm in love with this. Look at this. This is 
called, very quickly, Mechanical Fantasy. Isn't this so sweet? And I'm going to be cutting all of this out to make tags. This is what the back looks like. I love this. And I didn't buy this. I don't know where I got this. I only had one sheet of this, which I am in love with. And then I found this. So it looks like I had a pad, but I am thinking that I bet you my friend gave me this. She didn't have the whole pad. She just gave me what she had. And that's how I got my hands on this. So Mechanical Fantasy by Stamperia. I'm going to see if I can find it. But look at this. Isn't this? It's the cutest ever. Look at this. So I went in yesterday and I did pockets and I did three tags. And um, here's a tag here. So cute. But I've got the tags up here to do and I'm at a quandary because I'm in love with this paper so much I don't want to cover this up I don't want to cover this up but I want to add some more pockets because I'm going to put this in my shop and um, I don't think there's enough but I'm so in love with this paper I just can't hide it ah uh, my problem Okay, guys, I am going to let you go with this. And thank you so much for joining me today. And I will catch you for uh, Index Card Friday tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Big hugs, everyone. Bye now.